Hi there, Lisa here. I've got another pocket to share with you. Uh, these are something that I've been doing for forever. I really like these little folio passport, little booklet things, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it can be a standalone signature inside of a project that you might be working on. You might stack some papers on the inside of this and make that an outside of a signature. These are really easy to make and super quick. There's a pocket here. There's a pocket here on the front. Two pockets here on the inside flip it over. There's a pocket here and another pocket right here. So I have some vintage ephemera loaded up into this one. And this is just a really non-thematic. I don't really have a theme involved with this. I just put some vintage ephemera in it and use some Tracy Fox labels because who doesn't love Tracy Fox labels, right? So I have one here that I've actually removed all the ephemera out of it so that you can see it better. So the two pockets... And then you can see the pockets here in the back and the two angle pockets here on the front. So let me show you how quick and simple these are to make. One of the really cool things about these little pockets is that the height of them is customizable to whatever project you might be working on. You don't want to adjust the width too much because you're going to lose the angle of the pocket, but you can make them a little bit taller. So I'm starting with a file folder. Any file folder will work. The one thing that we do have to be careful of though is making sure that this is square when you cut it. So I already know that this file folder is not square. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna square up the sides of it before I do anything else. So I've got just the very corner here just over the edge of where my blade needs to be and I'm going to cut. Then I'm going to turn it over to the other side and I'm going to cut at 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half inches making sure that the bottom of my file folder is up tight against the rail here and you can see how much off this is. Isn't that terrible? And then I'm going to cut. I'm going to lose some of this up here, so that's okay. Then I want to make this 8 inches. So I'm going to put the fold down here at the 8. So I've got the folded edge at 8, and I'm going to cut. This is scrap. I'm just going to throw that away. So now I should have a square file folder that I took the time to trim those ends. So let's check that into my scoreboard. It looks great up against the top rail and the side. Perfect. Let's do some scoring. So first thing you want to do is score this at seven inches. And because it's thick, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to start at seven. Actually, I'm just going to go through both layers. I'm going to start at seven. I'm just going to go slow and I'm just going to push down really hard. The stylus, well, maybe I'm not going to do that. Let's open it up. Let's just go slow at seven inches, holding it tight up against the top so it doesn't shift. And I'm going to go down as far as I can, and I'm going to flip it bottom to top and continue to score at seven. So I should have a score line all the way at seven inches. Beautiful. Now I'm going to give it a turn, and we're going to score it at four and a quarter. So I'm going to open that up and make sure that that fold is up against that left rail nice and tight. I'm just going to hold it there and score it four and a quarter. Pushing down fairly significantly and just going nice and slow. Bottom to top and do the same exact thing at four and a quarter. There we go. I'm just going to take a second to double score it just so I get some nice crisp folds. That's it. You just need the two score lines. Before we fold anything, we're going to go ahead and cut the angles for the pockets while it's nice and flat. It fits into your trimmer a little bit better that way. I'm going to come in just a little bit and we're going to use, we're going to use 
the outside edge of your trimmer here to measure these angles so that we don't have to mark and mark and cut and trim and all of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this outside edge on this little point here and that little point right there. So I'm gonna lift that up and I'm, gonna, I'm lining up the outside edge here with the score line here and the score line there, right at those points right at those points. Oop. I want to make sure that my blade is up because it's easier to cut through both layers if you're pulling down. I'm going to push down on that trimmer right there and hold those really nice and tight and I'm just going to pull straight down. There's one pocket. We're going to flip it over and do exactly the same thing. So we're going to line up the edge of that trimmer right here and right there. Again, I want the blade at the top and I'm lining it up with this outside edge right here. Gonna hold down really hard and pull. So that sure beats having to measure and mark and connect the dots, right? <clears throat> the other thing we need to do something with is this little spot right here. And all we're gonna do is take our scissors. I've got the fold on this side. I'm gonna cut an angle right up to that score line. And I don't need to take out a huge chunk here. I'm just making it so the pockets will fold a little bit better. So I'm gonna cut up to that score line. I'm gonna open that up, fold that forward, and then cut it. And it gives me a nice cut right across there. There we have it. That was super simple. So let's go ahead and fold. And if you end up with the inside of this showing on whatever file folder you're using, fold it the other way. Make it, it doesn't matter which direction you fold this, so there's no front or back at this point. I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to fold on these score lines here. Now here, you need to make sure that the bottoms line up, and you're just going to really push down and burnish those folds. Same on this side, making sure that bottom lines up. I'm gonna turn it so I can see it a little better and burnish those folds. And there you have it. Wasn't that simple? So, so easy. Well, but Lisa, you still have all of this open. Well, you're right, we do. So let's unfold it and let me talk to you about decorating and completing the pockets so that you actually have pockets. These two pieces need to be secured down so that you get these pockets here and you have a completed pocket right here. So you can glue, you can use double-sided tape, score tape if you choose to do so. However, I like to use my sewing machine. I think it works really, really, really well. So that's what I do. And in order to get the look of having stitched it all the way around, because I've got stitching all the way across the top and across the bottom and then down the sides here, I start flat and I start in this corner right here. I start in this corner and I go up across the top all the way and then I come down and what that does is that seals up the end of this pocket here and it seals up the end of this pocket here. I stop right here, I fold these under and then I continue across the bottom and that takes care of making these pockets right here. So that's what I did. You can see the stitching across the bottom here. So I started in that one spot and once I got to the end, I folded those, I folded, folded them under, and then I just stitched right across the bottom. And so you could leave your strings hanging or whatever. You could, you could also stitch across all of these angles if you wanted to. I chose not to do that. I think that's a lot of, a lot of work, and I personally didn't want to do that. So by stitching it, it takes care of all of those pocket issues. Um, I would not recommend using washi tape down here because here's where you want to seal that up. And if you're going to fill it up with ephemera, that washi tape is going to break. You could try masking tape. You know, when you age up the masking tape, that might hold it. But 
I know so many of us have a sewing machine. I would just sew it and stitch it. The decorating part of it, you're gonna to wanna to do while it's laying flat like this. And that's how I did all of my little stamping and adding in the eyelets. These eyelets are actually going through the pockets. And I've got one on each pocket just because I have them and I thought, hey, why not? And so I can do that while it's flat. Once you've stitched the pockets together, boy, that sure makes it tough to get in here. So all of your inking, all of your stamping, it's so much easier to work flat than it is all folded up. And then start in this corner, up and over and around, fold those in, stitch across the bottom, and voila, you have this really cute little pocket folio thingamabobber to add into a project. I could see this just stuffed full of ephemera being included in a project that you've done or even tied to the top. Wouldn't that be fun? So there you have it. I hope you like this particular pocket. I hope you can use it in some of your projects. So until next time, stay well, and I hope to talk to you soon.